Today marks the official end of hurricane season, but it was one that left its mark on southern New England. Tropical storm Irene knocked out power to much of our area for up to one week and proved to be one of the costliest storms in U.S. history. The highlight of a busy season in the tropics. Meteorologist Pete Mangione joins us live now with details that are new at five. Well, it only took one storm to make this hurricane season one to remember. But how does this year stack up with years past? Judging by these pictures of Irene's wrath back in August, you would think that the hurricane season of 2011 was extremely active. However, it depends on how you look at the numbers. 19 tropical storms were spun up in the Atlantic. That's the third highest number ever. But only seven of those turned into hurricanes. That's only slightly higher than average. No major hurricanes made landfall in the United States. The last time a major storm hit the U.S. was Hurricane Wilma in 2005. Warm ocean temperatures in the Atlantic helped fuel the large number of tropical storms, but weather patterns were on our side for much of the season. High pressure over the central United States kept things relatively quiet over the Gulf Coast, and low pressure over the East Coast steered a lot of storms out to sea before striking the Northeast. That was the case with Ophelia, who was a Cat 4 storm at one point, but she ended up barely grazing Canada. While not making landfall as a major hurricane, Irene caused major damage and destruction by cutting a path through highly populated areas of the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. Power was out for around a week in many areas of southern New England, and Vermont was flooded with heavy rain, with some totals reaching up to 11 inches. The Southeast didn't completely luck out this year. Tropical Storm Lee created major flooding from the Gulf Coast all the way through the Northeast. Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.